I desperately need coffee. And I have a, a smudge on my glasses. I just made it worse. I shouldn't leave my camera like chilling on the couch like this, but I'm going to. What time is it? It is 11. <laughs> it's 11.10. Do you know that? How y'all doing? My name is Lauren and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I thought for today's video being my first video I would do like a day in the life get ready with me Type of situation. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, my husband and I woke up <laughs> really late today. It's 11 15 I don't like waking up pretty late, but I was really tired last night. So that's that I still have to wash my hair Today is a hair wash day get in the shower do my whole thing so that I would take you guys with me to do that So yeah Let's go. That'd be fun. So first thing I'm going to do is get in the shower and I'm going to show you guys my curly hair routine because it is a wash day, which is nice. So let's go do that. Okay, so I'm out of the shower. Obviously, I didn't take you guys in the shower with me because, I don't know, I think showers are like really like, you know, personal therapeutic time. So I like that. But if you guys want to see how I wash my hair, I can show you guys that in another video with my bathing suit on. So I wash my hair with the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Sulfate Free Cleansing Cream Shampoo. Whoa. Anyway, I've had really crazy buildup like in my scalp for honestly for months and I just like couldn't get it out. And then I just was shopping this week, going to get food, and I was like, you know, let me just try this. And I actually love it. It actually really helps. And then for conditioner, I use the Not Your Mother's Tahitian Gardenia Flower and Mango Butter Curl Defining Conditioner, which I also have used for years. I really, really love that product. When I was in the shower, sorry about the lighting also. The lighting in here is so trash. So, like, I'm sorry about that, but it's my house and this is my bathroom. And that's how it is. For leave-in conditioner, I use the Kinky Curly Not Today Leave-In because it's like a detangler. And so what I did was I washed my hair and then after the conditioner came out, I put this in my hair. And that's when I started to, like, style and put, place my hair where I want it to go. And now I'm going to put in the Curl Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Jelly. I really like this. Uh, my hair can't take anything too heavy, I've noticed, because it just weighs it down because my scalps are really straight. My scalp is really straight, and my ends are really curly. Um, I'm also half Puerto Rican and half Irish, so I have a really weird mix of, like, thin and fine hair and then curly and coarse hair. So my hair is a little bit harder to deal with. Um, and so then I just take this product and I put it in here like this. And I put it on the other side. I use about, like, that much on each side. Not a lot on each side because like I said, my hair is thin and it's very fine and you know, that will really weigh it down. Voice over. Okay, anyway, so I'm gonna keep on putting that product in with my fingers and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab some more of that product for the back of my head because the back of my head is so dry from like ponytails and braids and stuff like that. And so it needs some extra love in. And then I'm going to scrunch that in. When you're scrunching your product in, it's really nice. You really like want to hear that sound. I don't really know why you want to hear that sound, but I remember watching a lot of videos and almost everyone has said that you really want to hear that sound. So. I'm sorry that my hair is not in the frame, but what I did was I flipped my head forward and then I kept on scrunching to get some volume in my roots. Now I'm going to take my microfiber. This is actually like a chirpy twist, but it's only like microfiber towel that I have. I never saw a need to like buy a whole new towel when I just have one here. So I'm going to take this end of it, the end that doesn't go around your head, and I'm going to flip my hair over and I'm going to dry the ends because the ends are what's holding all of the moisture really. I'm trying to dry my ends as best as I can with the towel. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pick and I'm going to lift my roots off of my scalp so that throughout the day it doesn't end up laying on my scalp and becoming flat. Look at that hair, not in the frame again. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna plop. And so I gather all of my hair on the palm of my hand and I lay it in its natural curl pattern. And then I just squish it on top of my head in this really messy bun. And I secure that with a hair tie. And this actually helps it to hold its curl pattern and air dry just a little bit while I'm doing some things around the house. Okay, so I put on some clothes. Yes, I put on the same shirt because let's be honest guys. We're stuck inside. I know this is clean. I actually just bought this not too long ago from Target. So, and I've only worn it like twice, so why not, right? Um, yeah, so I'm putting on the same shirt and my sweatpants do not match because 
quarantine. So now I'm going to do my skincare stuff, which is not really that many steps. I don't usually wash my face in the morning. I usually just wash it at night and then put on all my serums and creams and treatments. And then in the morning, I just take like witch hazel and kind of like wipe it all down and then do moisturizer and stuff. But this morning I did wash my face because I was just feeling really like I felt all the dead skin cells and texture. So I washed my face with, I use the CeraVe salicylic acid cleanser and I use a Vanity Planet spin brush. So that's already done. I did that in the bathroom, obviously. It's really hard to show you guys in the bathroom. My lighting in there is not the best. Um, but now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put on my Witch Hazel. This I use as a toner. This is the Dickinson's uh, Hydrating Toner. The one that's yellow has alcohol in it. This one's alcohol free. And I just noticed a difference in my skin by doing this. Oh, I also always do an ice cube in the morning. And I actually started that kind of like on accident. There was a summer that I was working um, on my college campus and the place I was living had no AC. I was always super hot. And so I would take an ice cube and put it on my face in the morning and at night. And then I saw my skin like start to transform. It started to get so much better. My pores were closed. I didn't have as much acne. And so I kind of like just kept doing that. I also heard from someone that like models do that. I don't know, don't quote me, but yeah. Okay, now that I've done that, oh, I use a fan to dry my stuff. So I'm gonna take this fan. I'm gonna just dry down my toner so that I can kind of just speed up the process. Then what I do is I have this Derma E scar gel. Um, this is so good. So I have a really bad acne scars. My skin broke out recently um, because I use benzoyl peroxide and I forgot from like six years ago that I actually have an allergic reaction to it sometimes. Usually people put it on before their moisturizer. I mean after the moisturizer, but I put mine on before. I just feel like, I don't know. So I pick a little bit of this. A little bit of this goes a long way. Also, this is amazing. Like, this really does help my skin. My scars were so much worse. And I just put on my scars. And, like, my scars, honestly, on this point, at this point, are all over my skin. So I'll put it all over. I have a lot of acne scarring because I'm that person who, especially during quarantine, who was, like, home. And you just start touching your face without realizing it. Since this is a gel, it's a little bit harder to, like, dry down with the fan. But I still do it because I still feel like it does make a little bit of a difference. Yeah. And I'm going to put on some makeup today because... I don't know, it makes me feel like things are kind of still a little bit normal. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in, put on my Hydra Boost, Neutrogena Hydra Boost. I use the extra dry skin one because the other one has fragrance in it and this one doesn't really. This one just kind of smells like water. The other one has fragrance in it and I used to love that one, but then I just switched to this one. And I don't know, not that I like it more, I just like that it's not scented. Put it in my hands and rub it on my face. And sometimes I like really, really will like go around and like rub it in, but um, not today. Not today. I'm trying to be really gentle with my skin. Usually um, at night, I'll do this routine is very similar. I use all the same products. I try not to switch back and forth because I'm trying to see what works best for my skin. Um, so I'll do all the same things, except sometimes I'll face mask or I'll put on a serum. I do put on a serum. If I was not putting on makeup, I would totally put on the serum. So my skin could just like hydrate and all that. Now I go in with the Milky Mist. I know this is kind of more so for like makeup and like before makeup and stuff, but I like the way it makes my face feel like a burst of hydration, so. If you guys don't know, this is actually a humongous size. I don't have the other one, but they have a bigger size now. This is 5.41 fluid ounces. That's like $5 more than the regular size, which I think is more like this big. So I thought it was worth it, so I got it. And I use this literally every day. I love this stuff. I do need some chapstick though, and I don't know what my chapstick is, but I'm gonna put on some cocoa butter. Put that on my lips for some hydration while I do the rest of the things I need to do. And my skin around my nose has been super dry, so I've been putting the cocoa butter there too. And it's dry because it is April. It's April, right? Yeah, it's April, and I get really bad seasonal allergies. I have to go butter my hair. Okay, I actually decided not to dry my hair because it takes a lot of time and I kind of want to see how my hair dries, um, like normal, I guess, air dries, whatever, why can I speak, I don't know, but now I'm going to make some coffee, I probably should make food first, but I'm going to make some coffee, I think, I'll make some coffee, you know what, because coffee makes me happy and I think in a time like this, we should do things that make us happy, so I'm going to make some coffee. So I have been doing the, um... I've been doing the whipped coffee and yes it's basic but it is so good and I really like it and my husband really likes it too so I'm gonna make some of that I don't know if you guys really want to see me do that but I guess it's the routine right so I need a big mug a nice big mug I usually would do it in like a mixing bowl um that's a lot of work right now honestly 
and um, I'm totally doing this. I need to boil water. First thing I do is boil water. So I have like a little black and decker like uh, kettle here. That's how I boil water. I use the Nescafe Classico for this. And oh, I slam that on the ground. And then I have like my little cute little sugar and spoon thing. And this is my sugar. Honestly, ugh, I need coffee. What time is it? It is past 1230. <laughs> Whatever. You know what? It's a Saturday. Is it a Saturday? Alexa, what day is it? Today is Saturday, April 11th. Okay, yeah, so quarantine has been something, it's been something, I'll tell you that right now. We've been quarantined for a month, I think I might have said that in the beginning of the video, I don't know. Ooh, come in sunlight. We've been quarantined since the beginning of the month, not the beginning of this month, beginning of March. Uh, if you hear that boiling, that's my kettle. Yeah, so we've been here for a little while, and at first it was nice because we were like forced to relax and forced to rest and stuff. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm trying to get a little bit, I guess, like irritable, and I'm trying to miss my friends and, you know, my family, like, I don't know. I went to go see my dad yesterday to pick up my piano from his house, and it was sad, like, I couldn't, like, hug him. It was, like, it was sad, so, yeah, I'm trying to get really, like, over this, honestly, but we have to do what we have to do, flatten the curve. Um, I don't really want to talk about this, but it's relevant. I am struggling to get this tablespoon to one more. So it's really starting to hit me. I'm starting to get kind of, not necessarily lonely, because I do have my husband here and he's my best friend, but I'm starting to get, like, irritable, and I'm, there's other things I want to do, and I want to go out and be outside and go shopping and just, like, drive, and I don't know. Like, sometimes I just go to the stores just to, like, kill time and, like, just to look around and get ideas and get creative and stuff like that, and I can't even do that. But I'm not going to lie. I do, I do enjoy the time, like, just being here and being forced to like rest and stuff it's kind of weird looking at the camera i'm gonna look here um yeah i'm being forced to rest and stuff like that and it's actually really put me into a different mindset where i feel like i have a different perspective on things in my life so it's been really nice to have to just kind of be still and um there's so many things i'm thankful for like i feel like i'm really blessed for right now like i am still working so is my husband and so we still have somewhere to live we have a whole lot of food and i'm just really blessed to be able to have that um, and I'm really thankful. I just am just really thankful that I still have that. And like, I don't know. I'm really thankful to God about that. Oh, I have to my mixer. Sorry, I had to wash, wash my whisk. I haven't turned this mixer on in a second. <laughs> You're not going to want to hear it because it is really loud. But yeah, I hope you guys are all staying safe and staying home. And enjoying time with your family or whoever you live with. Um, enjoy time with yourself. And, you know, if you're spiritual with God. Um, I'm going to turn this mixer on now, so... Yeah, but I'm not. I'm gonna do a voiceover over it. I'm just making, just making out coffee. This is my husband. Okay, I'm done. Anyway, your coffee is almost done. And it's pretty much here. You can just take it. Bam, 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 bam. Caesar. Mm. Your coffee. Thank you. You're welcome. Can you give me a spoon? Oh wait, actually, they're all here in the dishwasher. Can we just use the uh... the spoon that I have? The mixer. The little frother. The little hand frother. We got it from Amazon, like twelve dollars. Sometimes it doesn't work. See? But it's good. Caesar likes to mix his in completely. I like to still have the froth on top because I like the milk passing through the froth to my mouth. Well, the ice cubes in there I'm not having a good time. Beauteous. <laughs> Is that the sweet cream thing? Yeah, and I use a little bit left. We had um, a little bit of the almond milk, the vanilla almond milk left, so I used that. It's not good. Thanks. I did not make this up. I'm gonna make some egg salad for breakfast, steamed lunchish, whatever this is. So I'm gonna boil some eggs and it's something that's really easy to make because I don't have to like stand in front of it and watch it. This is gonna go in the sink. I'm gonna wash it later. But yeah, me coffee. Okay. So next thing I'm gonna do is eat and I'm cooking, like I said, egg salad. We bought a lot of eggs. We don't have much time left until they expire. Honestly, what's today's date? The 11th, I think she said. So we have to eat all of these eggs in four days. So, yeah, I'm going to make some egg salad with bread. If you guys, oh, first of all, let me, guys tell, let me tell you guys about this bread. This is the, oh, you can barely see it. It's the, I think it's like Dave's. Anyway, it's good seed bread. You can get this at ShopRite or Target. When I discovered it, I was at Whole Foods, so they do sell it at Whole Foods too. But this bread is so good. It has so many, like, good things in it. It has 5 grams of protein, 3 grams of fiber, 
and then it also has whole grains and um ALA omega threes so it's also and it's also like really really good with eggs okay while the eggs are boiling I'm probably gonna watch a show honestly if you guys have any re suggestions or like recommendations pass them my way because my husband Caesar I keep saying my husband his name is Caesar Caesar and I keep str are struggling to find something to watch really we started a show called the society which we really like but we're watching it with my sister so we're waiting for her to catch up to us I've watched a lot. We've already watched so many shows. So let's go to Netflix. We, Caesar and I do not have cable. I don't see, I personally don't see a point of us having cable when we watch so much Hulu, Disney Plus, Netflix, Amazon Prime. I, my go-to, go-to background show is Friends. But they took off of Netflix for, for right now and I think that... And I... My name is Dexter. Okay. It has the autoplay thing, Netflix has the autoplay thing, and then it's gonna cut into what I'm saying. Caesar did buy me Friends, the complete series on DVD, but we don't have a DVD player, and we ordered it right before this whole pandemic really started to become a really big deal here in the US and in New Jersey. So it's not gonna come in until I think next week, but we ordered it like over a month ago. It's okay. I can survive. I can give a little love to some other shows. I write down below what I should watch. Some good stuff. What I have watched is I've watched um, TV show wise. I've watched Riverdale, but I stopped watching it because I stopped having cable. And um, it was a really busy season in my life where I was getting married and I was moving out of my mom's house over here to New Jersey. And I was graduating and the wedding was coming up. So it was a whole big thing. And so I kind of didn't follow up follow up, and catch up with that show. I do love The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, which is on Netflix. It's really, really good. Um, I've watched Star, which is on Fox, which is a really good show if you're into music. The Office is a show I've watched. Friends. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I have seen Tiger King. Tiger King is crazy. I binge watched Cheer in, I think it was like, one night and then like the the other day i'm weird about when i watch certain shows too guys i don't really like scary stuff i don't really like i like thrillers and i don't really like scary or like horror i do not like horror movies no 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 no, no. but if i'm gonna watch something that's like thriller i have to watch it during the day it sounds so weird i don't know i cannot watch it at night because it will it will put me in a it'll it's just ruin my whole night oh my gosh i just realized how much coffee foam is on top of this this is gonna drive me insane Okay, so I'm actually gonna like just sit, enjoy my coffee, and watch a TV show until food is done. And I'm gonna eat with Caesar, and then I'm gonna do some makeup. So I'll see you guys at my makeup desk. Okay, and here we are in front of my ring light. So I decided to let my hair. Ooh, the sun is coming in. It's gonna be in and out. My window's right here, by the way. So anyway, so while I was gone, I decided to let my hair actually like full, like kind of fully air dry because when I do my makeup, I took my hair back into a low ponytail, and I didn't want it to be wet because then it would crease. And so now it is 3:45 <laughs> because I decided to also edit some of this video um, ahead of time while my air while my hair was air drying. <laughs> so um, I figured for my makeup, I would just do something kind of simple, just like my go-to simple makeup look, like when I'm going to work or to the store or whatever and while I'm doing that I thought it'd be a really good time to do like some questions so you guys can get to know me a little bit okay so let's hang out first I'm gonna use the glam glow glow starter like moisturizer I think it's luminate moisturizer I'm gonna use that on my high points of my face because um, I don't know I feel like it really highlights that really nicely and I would usually use it all over my face but because I'm breaking out I don't want to highlight like the parts of my face that are lifted and stuff because the highlight like the glitters and stuff like that in the product will emphasize that and i don't want to emphasize that here i am again so i'm going to put some of that on the bridge of my nose on my chin on my forehead in between my eyebrows because i glow there because that forehead is kind of big let's not lie and then on top of my eyebrows all right now that i did that i'm gonna do my eyebrows i'm not gonna do them on camera um because i don't know i think that can sometimes be boring to watch and I don't want anything to be boring to watch. My brows are done. I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do my foundation. Usually I don't do my foundation now. Usually I do my foundation after my eyeshadow. But I'm not wearing a lot of eyeshadow today, so I'm not worried about fallout. So I'm going to do my foundation. For foundation, I'm going to use the Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. It's coming out of focus. Yeah. Usually I would use a brush to apply this, but today I'm going to use my sponge. And the sponge that I use is the Morphe sponge. I'm not sure exactly what kind this is. They do have a few different ones, but I use the Morphe sponge. I'm just going to shake it up a little bit because, like I said, I have not worn makeup in a while. So this is definitely settled. All right. 
So while I'm putting this in, I will tell you guys about myself. I am 23 years old. My birthday is in August and I am originally from New York State, but I now live in New Jersey. I moved here in June because I got married in May and that's why I moved to Jersey because both my husband and I work in New Jersey. How tall am I? I am five foot one and a half. I am a college graduate. So yeah, like I said, I'm originally from New York State, so not from New York City. And I've, I lived in that town my whole entire life until I went to school. And I still went to school in New York State. I just didn't go to school anywhere like near, super near where I grew up in my home. I come from a big family, so I have so many sisters. I have half sisters, stepsisters, the whole shebang. I'm one of six that I was like raised with and I have a stepsister and a stepbrother. So it's like a whole thing. Okay, now we're getting into like really random questions. What sports do you play or have you played? I was a cheerleader for a little bit. Um, I also ran track for a little bit. Other than that, I'm not really an athlete at all. I was definitely more of a musical theater kid and I was really into music and was really into theater and musicals and stuff like that. Okay, so this is like a little tip that I use for applying my concealer or anything under my eyes. What I do is I prep my powder. So I'll put my Laura Mercier translucent powder in the cap and I'll kind of like try to even it out. Then I will apply my under eye concealer. When I blend it out, I will dip right into the powder and apply right away. So the reason that I put it up here first is that it's ready so it, I can apply the powder faster without having to like wait and I don't want the concealer to sit into my under eyes because I do wear contacts. So I already have a lot of wrinkles under my eyes because of that. For concealer today, I'm going to use the Instant Age Rewind. So I pulled the sponge off of this. I feel like this sponge just like harbors a lot of bacteria. So I pulled the sponge off and I just kind of use my finger and I dab it underneath my eyes. Then I'll go in with this sponge and I'll use this sponge for powder. I'm gonna take this little guy here. This is a Real Techniques little sponge and I'm gonna blend out this in here. It just fits better in that area. So I'm pressing that translucent powder underneath my eyes back and forth. I'm not going to bake. It looks too heavy under my eyes. But I am going to take that same sponge and the translucent powder and set the rest of my face with it. Then I'm going to take my Morphe sponge and I'm going to blend out the creases on my forehead. I'm expressive and dramatic, but in reality I was just lifting my eyebrows. And I'm going to set that too. I also have some gnarly smile lines and I cannot get these to not crease, but here I am trying anyway. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set my eyelids. I used to use a brush to like brush over my eyelids and then I noticed that it would actually move my concealer or primer or whatever I had on my eyelids. And so now I just kind of like tap it and this is how I set it. So what I'm gonna do for my eyes, and I'm gonna keep it really, really simple. I'm gonna take this little brush here. This brush is from Amazon, I got this a while ago. I'm gonna dip into my butter bronzer. I have to sneeze. Oh, allergies. So I'm using the same bronzer that I'm actually gonna put on my face because it just brings everything together really well. And I'm gonna go right into the crease there. Who are your favorite YouTubers? This is a fun question. I watch a lot of different things on YouTube. I watch vlogs and I also watch um, makeup tutorials and curly hair stuff. So right now at the moment, I like the brand fam. They are just really funny. And they're a married couple, a young married couple with three kids. And they're just funny. I don't know. They're just fun to watch. Super entertaining. I watch This is LNS. Makeup wise, Jackie Aina. Oh, I love Jackie Aina. Kathleen Lights has been one of my all-time favorites. Roxette Arisa, I literally watch every single one of her videos. Oh yes, curly hair. I've been watching Mains by Mel a lot. Mains by Mel is actually a curly hair stylist who has a YouTube channel. Okay, that's enough bronzer. I just kind of got carried away. Here, I'm gonna put that on my eyelid too. Just to give a little bit of like a nice shadow situation going. Then I'm going to take this color. This is, I mean, this highlighter. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this on my finger, same finger. I'm gonna put it on the middle of my eyelid. I'm gonna use, um, this brush came with the Naked Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. I'm gonna dip into that. I'm gonna put that in here on the inside. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna wipe away with this big fluffy brush. I'm gonna wipe away that fake. I decided I'm gonna go in with the Golden Flower Crown Highlighter from Wet n Wild, and I'm gonna put that on the eyelid. For bronzer, I'm gonna use the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I think I said that earlier. And I'm gonna take this brush. This brush is the Bare Minerals Flawless Face Brush. When I first started using Bare Minerals, I got this brush like in a set. 
and then I discovered that I really, really like it for bronzer. So I do that thing there. I don't go right into the hollows of my cheeks. I actually go above it, so. Yeah, so here I am doing that. And then to make my forehead look a little less like square, I'm gonna put some bronzer there and on top of my temples. There we go, my dimension is back. I'm gonna take my blush brush. This is the Real Techniques, I think it's called blush brush. And for blush, I'm gonna take the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. I'm gonna swirl around in there and pop down my cheeks. So I'm gonna go in with the Essence. This is busted, but this is the Essence Satin Touch Blush in Satin Love. And like, it's, I have it taped, like it is busted. I'm gonna go in with this too. I do a lot of blush because blush is the first thing to like leave your face. I have such weird skin where sometimes my skin feels like super moisturized and great and then and sometimes it's really really oily and then sometimes it's just like super super dry and right now it's a super super dry type of skin day. Then here comes that pixie milky mist once again and I spray that all over like all over my face. Goodness gracious. Then I grab my fan and I dry all of that down. Okay, so I just curled my lashes, but what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do my highlight. And I'm going to use the Real Techniques, uh, oh, there's a name on it, setting brush. And I use this for highlight. Okay, another question was, have I been to other countries? I have. I've actually been to Spain. I got engaged in Spain. Fun fact, Caesar, my husband, has family there. And so we went there, um, like, two summers ago. And we went for, like, I think it was a little over a week. And yeah, we ended up getting engaged there. He posted me at this really, really pretty castle. <gasps> Maybe I'll post that video on my YouTube. Yeah, anyway, um, he proposed to me there. And then Caesar and I were engaged for almost two years before we got married. I like to highlight right above the brow bone. Oh, it just like, I don't know. Highlight there like gives me life. I'm going to take this little brush here. This is an e.l.f. Um, blending eye brush. And I'm going to take this highlight that I used. I'm going to put that up in the brow bone. One of my passions is music. I sing, I studied music in college. Another one of my passions is makeup. I love makeup. Fun fact, I did my own wedding makeup because for me, makeup is so therapeutic, which is kind of why I'm doing it now because makeup is so therapeutic for me and I can really relax and like, I don't know, it just takes my mind off of everything else. I want to encourage you to do something while you're quarantined, you're staying inside or whatever the case is that you really love and that really keeps you relaxed and takes your mind off of things because it can so be so, so easy to get caught up in the news and that can sometimes trigger like anxiety and it can really, really instill fear. So yeah, I encourage you guys to do things that you really, really love. Now that highlight is done, I'm gonna do my mascara. And for mascara, I have been using, when I've been putting on makeup, I've been using the Voluminous, what is this? L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Base, and then, which is like a primer, and then over that I'll put this one, which is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher, and I love this mascara. It's one of my favorite mascaras. So I take that primer, and I put the primer only on the tips of my lashes, and then I go in with the regular mascara, and I do about two coats of mascara on each eye. I work one eye at a time, and I also cannot forget about those bottom lashes. Okay, so I'm done with my makeup. This is honestly what I would do on a regular day. Because my camera died, I had to like wait almost 45 minutes to an hour just to do this section of the video. So right now it is 5.40. I'm going to go to the kitchen and I'm going to figure out what we're going to have for dinner. And my husband Caesar is right now in the living room. So, let's go. Okay, I have you guys on the tripod now so I can carry you guys around a little bit and get up on my feet and move around. Since we're quarantined, you know, i got to get the blood flowing. So, I'm going to go to living, I'm going to go like to the other side of my house, like to the living room and stuff like that in the kitchen. I'm going to hang out with my husband and figure out what we're going to have for dinner. So, I'm going to end the video here. And I want to have this video up by tonight, so if it's up by tonight, happy Easter, because tomorrow's Easter, so happy Easter. So I did record a lot because of these circumstances, so I want to have that up in the next few weeks. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked this video, please like the video, <laughs> and subscribe to my channel, and comment down below what else you guys want to see. So thank you so much, I'll see you guys soon, bye!